Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to note taking using this app called Concepts. Concepts is actually an illustration app and it's available on the iPad, iPhone, Windows tablet and also on Android. It's free to use. However, certain features, certain uh, drawing or writing tools, they are locked behind the paywall, but for the basic brushes, basic pens, they are all free to use. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the features of Concepts. Uh, Concepts has the infinite canvas, so you can just keep writing on and on. You don't have to worry about running out of space. And because this is an illustration app, it has access to layers, so you can have um, text on a separate layer, the colors on a different layer. And if later on you need to change the colors for these boxes, for example, you can do so very easily. There are many brushes you can choose from. And some of the brushes unfortunately are locked behind the paywall, but um, those brushes are definitely worth getting because they are really fun to use. There is backup as well. If you are using Android tablets, the backup will go to Google Drive. If you are using iPads or iPhones, the backup will go to iCloud. Right, let's go through the features one by one, starting with the Infinite Canvas. This is very useful because this will allow you to write like forever on this single canvas, on this single page because there is no limit to this canvas size. So for example, I can write here as well. I can scroll to the far right side and write here. But the downside is if you have, I mean, if you are zooming like this, you have some content here, you won't be able to tell whether or not there's any content outside of this area because there is no, um, there's no navigator or thing that can help you see to the extreme edges. So when writing, it's best to keep your content like close together side by side. The second feature is because this is an illustration app, you can create layers and sometimes I like to maybe draw a box like this using the fill to and I can create another layer and write some text here. Oops, let me just change the brush size. So you can change the brush size very easily just by clicking on the brush size and swiping left or right. And this is the smaller brush, which now seems kind of thin. Now this app, it supports pressure sensitivity. So if you draw or write with very light pressure, you are going to get thin lines like this. If you press down hard, you can get thick lines like this. And because this is a vector app, all these lines that you see are actually mathematical formulas. So you can zoom in like all the way or you can zoom out all the way. The maximum and minimum zoom is from 10% to 1600%. There are a lot of different colors you can choose from. All these colors are based on the Copic coloring system. So once again, I'm drawing with the fill color 2. And because this is an illustration app, it's quite good when it comes to um, drawing. There are many brushes you can choose from. So let's choose the basic pen brush. So this is the basic pen brush. This does not respond to pressure sensitivity. They also have the fountain brush or the fountain, they call it the fountain. Um, for this brush, it will react, I mean the thickness of the line will react to the speed at which you are writing. So if you write like uh, very slowly like this, the lines will be thin. But if you write very fast, uh, let me just write like fast, the lines will be thick. If you are using a pressure sensitive stylus, then definitely go with the dynamic pen. 
because this will allow you to write with pressure sensitivity and you can also adjust the opacity of the lines you can reduce the opacity because uh, sometimes if you want to overlay colors onto colors uh, you can do that when you have transparent text so for example here you can see this uh, color overlay and you may notice some um, horizontal lines here these are the root lines you can change the root lines and also there is some texture here i'm not sure if you can see it properly it's a uh, paper texture so to change the pattern on the background or the paper texture you can just click on the settings icon these are the different background you can choose uh, when you click on the background the background will update instantly here so you can see what you will get this is crumpled paper lightweight paper heavyweight you can have blue paper if you want to brown paper let's go with the default plain white paper and you can mix the paper with the grid pattern so there is um, none basically a blank canvas or you can have dots square grid different types of square grids isometric this is for drawing purposes you have different root um, patterns there are only three root uh, patterns for you to choose from uh, narrow medium and wide and then lastly there's this triangle if you want to do some highlighting you can do so using this marker brush let's say i want to have yellow highlighting okay um, and this yellow marker it's not that transparent so i have to undo to undo you just have to use two fingers to double tap on the screen and let's change this marker to be more transparent or you can just create a new layer below the text let me just drag this layer here below the text and turn the opacity right up to 100 percent and now i can have the marker behind the text so this is uh, why using layers is so useful so convenient there are some finger gestures you can do so double finger tap would be to undo uh, you can take a look at all the finger gestures possible um, in the settings here there is two finger tap and three finger tap so i have uh, those set to undo and redo on the ipad there may be more finger gestures the ipad version of concepts has more features compared to the android version okay um, other things i want to show you would be uh, finger action so if you have a finger on the canvas i have set it to move the canvas so right now if you want to take notes um, the app will only take pen input so if you use your finger or if you rest your palm while writing there is no way you will get stray strokes so right now the palm rejection um, it's perfect and when you want to move around you can just use your finger to move around some note taking apps will let you use two fingers to move around you can also use two fingers to move around here as well of course you can also rotate with uh, your fingers and if you want to reset the zoom to 100% you just have to double tap this uh, zoom here and it will go back to 100% and if you want to reset the angle uh, rotation again same thing just double tap here and it will reset to zero degrees because this is an illustration app you can create a lot of fun things you can draw of course and if you don't like the color of your lines uh, later on to change the colors of the lines you have to select the lines first so 
uh, make sure you are on the correct layer so all my lines are on the pen layer and you can click this arrow tool here which is the selection tool and make sure that make sure this is lasso and not item picker if you choose item picker you have to click on those lines one by one i'm using lasso so i can draw a lasso around all the elements i want to select and here make sure it's set to the active layer so that you can select all the elements on the current layer so now i can just draw a lasso here and it will select the lines and once it's selected if all the lines are of the same color it will be reflected here if it's not the same color then this will show something else anyway let's change this to some other color let's change it to orange and you can see the color it updates instantly i can change it to green as well and maybe maybe let's have green instead and green doesn't work well with this background color so let me go to the background layer there and use the selection tool again and draw this so i want to have a green and maybe light green perhaps in addition to changing the color of the lines um, you can also change the brush the style of the line so say for example you don't like this hard edge line so once again i'm going to go to the pen uh, layer draw a lasso to select the lines and this time i'm going to change to a different brush i'm going to change it to a soft pencil so now you can see instead of the hard uh, hard line now you have pencil lines all right say you are done with uh, note taking um, all the files will be saved on the tablet as well as backed up onto the cloud server it could be icloud or it could be google drive let me show you um, what i have here so i actually use this app mostly for drawing not for note taking but you can definitely use this app for note taking of course if you want to export your files out um, you can export the file as a jpeg or png some of these file formats are actually locked so you will have to pay to unlock the files when the file is saved automatically it will create a thumbnail based on the last uh, view you have so for example with this view i can see six boxes so with the thumbnail you're going to see that last view so one way to make the thumbnail more recognizable perhaps is to maybe um, create the thumbnail yourself basically in this case here i'm just going to draw like so now this thumbnail on google drive it's more useful because you can actually see the content in it all right let me know in the comment section below whether or not you uh, find this app useful when it comes to note taking compared to other note taking apps that you already use all right thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye